Welcome everybody back to the Home Arcade Journey. Uh, today we're going to go over how to set up your CoinOps Next 2 settings so you can use the dynamic marquee. Stay tuned. So here we are guys. We're in the uh, we're inside the CoinOps Next 2 folder and inside this folder um, you have a number of different folders that are in here. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to get into it right now. Here we're in our Coin Ops Next 2 uh, folder, and in the Next 2 folder, you'll have a bunch of files that are in here. The one we want to look at is the settings file. And what you do is you right click that and you open with Notepad or Note. Uh, that'll run it and that'll open it up. And then what we'll do here is we'll maximize it so you guys can see the screen. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see it. I want to work on this. So if you look right down here, about halfway down, you'll see marquee enabled. When you first open this up, it will be false. You want to change that to true. You want to change this to true, like where I show it true right now. Normally, uh, default is false. Uh, and you need to put all your marquee folders, uh, marquee files into the folders uh, under each collection. You need to put them under the medium artwork marquee folder. Okay. And then you have to set in here the marquee width and the height and that's going to be a function um, well it should be 19 1920 by 1080 and then when you go and you um, adjust them uh, on your screen on your second screen it will adjust them to the proper um, scaling so uh, the other thing you got to make sure about is your marquee number the display number is the number that you've assigned to your second display. For example, when I go in here and I right click and I go into my display settings, in here shows my smaller screen, my second screen is display one. You want to make sure that that display is the one that's shown in your settings folder here right here the one okay and then you should be ready to go make sure my marquee width of 1920 is fine and 1080 is fine uh, you just have to you have to know what your display settings are for your second your marquee um, your marquee screen and it should work but once you do that you save out you save it um, I don't have it here but you should be able to save the screen save the settings come back out and then all right guys now we're gonna go in and test out our marquees okay so now we're in arcade now we can go through and check and all the marquees are repeating what's on this marquee right here. And that's because we have it already in the marquee folder and in the marquee folder, which is under medium artwork, which is under the, um, the arcade folder. Now, it's important to note that when you get into the subfolders, we'll go down here to the arcade subfolders, like arcade classics, old school, beat em ups. When you get into these, these do not change. And I'm not 100% sure why this does this, but we have to, we're gonna try to check on that and see why it doesn't do it. Now, for the other ones, when you go in the other direction here in the arcade area, if we get into Model 3, uh, we do have these change and these change because within the sub within the folders of the other categories 
in the other collections they have graphic files and we'll show those in a second but for some reason in the subfolders for the arcade I cannot get the, the the sub collections to show up and that's something I need to check on the discord uh, see why we're not able to get those to show up but these other ones here for example for like laser disc we have these these will show up these are great I had to actually copy and paste the images into these to make sure they showed up because these these um, these games do show up in the subfolders they do have a marquee folder in the medium artwork folder in the collections folder but for the arcade subs they don't so we're gonna back out into the into uh, windows and take a look at uh, we're gonna take a look at the collections folders to show you where these graphic files files and then we're going to get into the coin op standalone folder and then in these you go into the collections and like I had mentioned before our original artwork for the marquees are under the marquee folder here but then when you get back out to collections all of these subfolders one two three all of these in here they are not these are when you go into these folders into the medium artwork marquee and I believe I had made that these don't show up even though I've copied them in and I've tried to do it I wasn't able to get them now for these other ones like uh, Tom this wave this here when you go in here in the marquee you do have these in here and these do show up another one to show you is uh, the laser disc which is like dragon's layer in here these have a medium artwork folder and a marquee folder and they have the files in here the marquee files are in here and they do show up but look how they're listed in here they, they look like they're listed differently because they're not these are not subfolders of the arcade or maybe they are but for some reason they're not showing up the same way so you should be able to get in Naomi here and in Naomi there's a medium artwork folder and there's a marquee folder and all of these show up so so there's the tutorial you'll get pretty much all of them working folks but we still got to work on the subfolders we still got to work on the subfolders in here to get them to start working and as soon as I find out how to do that I'll let you know but you can get your digital or dynamic marquee to light to work um, in certain collections almost all the collections except for the for the sub collections and as soon as I find those out I'll post in and let everybody know and again Thank you for watching. We really appreciate all those people that are watching. Really appreciate those that subscribe and hoping to get some more subscribers out there. But thank you for watching and uh, keep watching our videos and have a great weekend.